guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Victoria and this is my first ever YouTube video. At first I was pretty hesitant and nervous to start making videos just because I was kind of worried about what other people were going to think, what they were going to say. But after a lot of thought, I kind of just pushed all those negative thoughts towards the side and focused on the main reason I wanted to start making videos, which is to make all of you lovely ladies feel amazing about yourself. I know how hard it is living in our society today. We're constantly scrolling and scrolling on social media. We're judging others and in the process we're judging ourselves. So in my videos, I would love for us to just take a little break from that. To focus on you, focus on loving kindness towards others and most importantly yourself. So yeah, in my first ever YouTube video, I'm going to begin with a short 15 minute yoga flow. Um, it's kind of like a wake up morning flow. So yeah, let me know if you like it. Um, like and subscribe if you would like to see more, and thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. So beginning in a comfortable seated position at the top of your mat, either sitting cross-legged or on your knees, whatever feels best for you. Taking a few deep breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. And when you're ready, softly opening your eyes with a few gentle blinks, reaching your arms all the way up, exhale, hands come together. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down together in heart center. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up. And on your exhale, right hand comes down. Left arm is reaching up and over. Getting a nice big stretch in the left side. And on your next inhale, left hand comes down. Right arm is reaching up and over. Feeling a nice big stretch in the right side of your body. And on your next inhale, walking your hands forwards in front of you. Trying to get your crown of your head or your forehead to touch the ground, breathing into your back body here. And on your next inhale, coming back to center. From here, tilting your head towards the right side. Right hand rests on your left ear, left fingertips stay on the ground. Giving your neck a little gentle stretch here, then gazing down towards your right knee. Hand comes onto the back of your head. And on your next inhale, right hand comes down. Tilting your head towards the left side, left hand is resting onto your right ear this time. And from here, gazing down to your left knee, hand comes onto the back of your head. And on your next inhale, releasing out of that pose, and from here, walking your hands forwards in front of you and coming into a tabletop position at the top of your mat. So bring your hands and knees are on the ground, and we're coming into our child's pose sitting back onto our heels, walking our hands forwards in front of us, forehead is resting onto the mat here. So in the morning, you don't want to be starting with anything too drastic, so this is just getting our bodies ready for our practice today. Breathing deeply here into your back body. Your next, hair, next inhale from here, walking our hands towards the right side. Trying to get that left hand a little bit farther in front of your right. Getting that nice big stretch in the left side of your body. And on your next inhale, walking your hands back to your center and off to your left side. This time, trying to get your right hand a little bit farther in front of your left. And then letting your head rest down here. And on your next inhale, hands come back to center. And from here, coming on to your hands and knees in a tabletop position. We're going to begin with some cat and cows to warm up our spine. So on our inhale, arching into our back and gazing up. On your exhale, rounding into your back, looking down to the ground. Inhale, arching your back. Exhale, rounding into your back, looking down. Inhale. Exhale. And on your next inhale, reaching your right arm all the way up and floating that right arm underneath your left. Right ear is resting down onto your mat here. Inhaling and exhaling here in this pose. And when you're ready, right arm is reaching all the way up. And on your next exhale, right hand comes down. Inhale, left arm is reaching all the way up. Left arm is threading underneath your right, left ear is resting down onto your mat. Just taking a few moments here. Resting down onto your mat. 
on your next inhale, reaching that left arm all the way up, and then from here, curling your toes under, sending your knees off of the ground, sending your hips up and back for your first downward dog of your practice. So from here, your downward facing dog, starting to walk it out, bending one knee at a time. Swing your hips from side to side, nodding your head yes and nodding your head no. And then from here, coming forwards into your plank. Exhale, coming back into your downward dog. Inhale, coming forwards into your plank. Exhale, coming back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forwards into your plank. Exhale, back into your downward facing dog. And from here, gazing towards your hands, walking towards the top of your mats. On your inhale, looking up halfway. And on your exhale, folding over completely. Inhale, reaching your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come down together in heart center. On your next inhale, reaching your arms all the way up, catching onto your left wrist with your right hand, lengthening here as you side bent off to your right side. And on your next inhale, coming back to center, catching onto your left wrist with your right hand, lengthening here as you side bent off to your left. And on your inhale, we're folding all the way over our legs. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, we're coming up all the way, reaching your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands come together in heart center, bending into our knees, sweeping our arms up, coming into our chair pose. Inhale, reaching all the way up, stretching out your legs. Exhale, bending back into your knees in your chair. Inhale, reaching all the way up, stretching into your legs. Exhale, bending into your knees in your chair, keeping your tailbone tucked here. We're holding here. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Folding over. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, planting your hands down to the ground, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga, bending your elbows, leaning forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. On your next inhale, left legs reaching all the way up. Left foot is coming in between your hands, coming up into your warrior one on the left side. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight. From here, gazing up to the sky, hands come together. From here, coming back into center, we're interlacing our hands behind us, rolling our shoulders up and down our backs. From here, we're folding over our left shoulders, coming onto the inside of your left knee. And from here, gazing down, either towards your front foot or towards your back foot. Remembering to keep your hips square here. Left hip is coming back, right hip is coming forwards. From here, reaching your arms all the way up for one more deep breath. And on your exhale, planting your hands down to the ground, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right leg is reaching all the way up and through towards the top of your mats, coming up into your warrior one on the right side. Keeping your hips and chest square, your hands come together, taking a little back bend, gazing up to the sky. And on your next inhale, coming back to center from here, we're interlacing our hands behind our back, rolling your shoulders up and down. From here, folding over, right shoulders coming onto the inside of your right knee. From here, either gazing forwards towards your front foot or backwards towards your back foot, letting your head rest down. Keeping your hips square here. And on your next inhale, slowly coming all the way up, reaching your arms up in your warrior one for one more deep breath. And on your next inhale, hands come down to the ground, stepping back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, left leg is reaching all the way up, this time bending into your left knee, stacking your left hip over your right. From here, you can stay here in your waterfall or you can flip over into your wild thing. The right arm is reaching towards the front of the room. From here, stepping back into your three-legged dog. And from here, left 
like it's coming forwards into your pigeon. So knee is coming towards your left wrist. From here we're lengthening as we fold over. So this is a deep hip opener here. So lingering to keep your hips square. And from here my elbows are bent and forearms are on the ground. But you can, if you have a lot of space, you can start to walk your hands forwards in front of you. And breathing deeply here in your pigeon. This pose can be annoying when you're first practicing it, but it gets better, I promise. From here, planting your hands back down onto the ground, curling your right toes under, sending that left leg up and back. And when you're ready, left foot comes back down onto the ground. And on your next inhale, right leg is coming up and over, bending into your right knee, stacking your right hip over your left. You can stay here or come into your wild thing if you would like. On your next inhale, coming back into your speed like a dog and coming into pigeon on the right side. So right knee is coming towards your right wrist, trying to get that foot towards your left wrist, sending that back leg all the way back. And from here, lengthening here as you fold over. Once again, you can keep your forearms down on the ground with your elbows bent or you can walk your arms forward so you have that space. Remembering to keep your hips completely square here. deeply in your pose. On your next inhale, planting your hands down to the ground, curling your left toes under, sending your right leg up and back. And on your next inhale, right leg comes down to the ground. You can walk it out here. On your next inhale, coming forwards into your plank, we're holding here. Shoulder blades are pulling up to the sky, tucking in your tailbone. We're high up onto our toes here and coming back into your downward facing dog. And on your next inhale, bending into your knees and you can jump step or hop through into a seated position. And then from here, extending your legs out in front of you, flexing into your feet, keeping out the flesh from under. And then from here, we're lengthening as we fold, walking your hands forwards in front of you. From here, you can stay or you can catch on to either sides of your feet. You can bend into your knees as much as you need to. And on your next inhale, slowly coming all the way up. And from here, bending into your knees, giving your knees a little hug, rocking from side to side. And on your next inhale, we're cupping the backs of our knees with our hands. Putting our feet off of the ground, we're coming into plank pose, arms extend out in front of us. On our inhale, reaching our arms up, and on our exhale, hands come down. Inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, reaching our arms all the way up. Exhale, arms come down. From here, cupping the backs of your knees with your hands, we're rocking backwards and forwards here, so giving your spine a nice little massage here. And on your next inhale, coming up into a seated position, on your inhale, reaching your arms all the way up, exhale, hands come down, inhale, reaching your arms all the way up, exhale, hands come down in front center, inhale, reaching your arms all the way up, exhale, hands come down in front center. And from here, so as the feet come down to the ground, hands come behind you, and just rinse your wiping your knees from side to side here. Putting out any tension in your hips. From here, cupping your knees and bringing them onto your back. Hugging your knees into your chest and rocking from side to side here. From here, keeping your right knee close into your chest, extending your left leg out in front of you. And then from here, rolling your knee in circles, clockwise, counterclockwise, doing whatever feels best. And you're keeping a hold of your knee with your right hand, left arm goes out into a T position, opening up your hip here, guiding that knee up to your right side, keeping both of your feet flexed and activated. When you're ready, knee comes back into center, we're taking a twist here. Catching onto your knee with your left hand, right arm goes out into a T position, gazing off to your right here. Bringing that knee back into center, extending that leg out forwards in front of you. And then from here, bending your left knee into your chest. Rolling it in circles as you need. Mm -hmm. 
gentleman from here, keeping a hold of your knee with your left hand, right arm goes out into a T position, guiding that knee off to your left side, opening up your hip here. Then bringing that knee back into center, catching onto your knee with your right hand, left arm goes out into a T position, guiding that knee off towards your right side, easing towards your left here. Breathing deeply here in your twist. When you're ready, bringing that knee back into center. Soles of the feet come down to the ground, tickling the backs of your heels with your fingertips, and from here, looking into bridge pose. Sending your hips off the ground. If you have a lot of shoulder opening here, you can interlace your hands underneath your back. Breathing deeply here, feet are hip width apart. Getting everything activated and slowly lowering down to the ground. And from here, coming into your happy baby pose. Soles of the feet are facing up towards the sky. And you can take stillness here or you can rock from side to side. The rocking from side to side gives you a nice little massage on your spine. Just giving yourself a moment here, opening up your hips. Getting that nice release. And from here, you can come into an inversion of your choice. This is a dead bug pose, so all of our limbs are lifted. You can lower your ankles and lower your wrists. Or if you would like, you can come into shoulder stand, which I will be demonstrating for you. So bending into your knees, hiking up your hips with the help of your hands. Legs are coming straight up here. Hands are on to your mid to upper back. Thumbs are tucked in. And from here, you can start to lower your toes down to the ground above your head. You can release your hands from your back if your toes are touching the ground. If you would like to come into Karnapindasana, bending your knees into your ears, having that support on your back if you need it. So when you're ready, slowly lowering your backs, vertebrae by vertebrae down to the ground. And slowly lowering your legs down to the ground. From here, coming into your fish pose, propping yourselves onto your elbows. You can keep your chin tucked into your chest, or you could drop your head back like I'm doing here. So just releasing here, opening up your heart and chest. And one more time, bringing your knees into your chest, rocking from side to side here, releasing any tension in your back. And for your final pose, Shavasana. If your back is feeling sore at all, you can keep the soles of your feet down onto the ground with your knees bent. Or you can extend your legs out forwards in front of you like how I'm doing. So just giving yourself a few moments here to fully relax. Resting your body here in your Shavasana. Closing into your eyes. Focusing on your breath. From here I did a quite short Shavasana, so you need some more time. Giving yourself that time. And when you're ready, slowly waking up your body, coming into a fetal position and thanking yourself for taking care of your body today. And when you're ready, coming up into a seated position. Thank you so much, guys, and namaste.